aqui Robin and Rut, who says this was an adventure bike, right? <laughs> But found. Hey, good morning, guys. It's Andy from MCC Just Motos. It's a little bright, sunny New Mexico morning. I'm in Albuquerque. I'm going to try and head out to uh, Santa Fe, New Mexico. Um, got my W650. Uh, I'm loaded up, ready to go. Did some engineering on my pole so it doesn't slip around, aka, got a bungee cord. We'll see how it goes on the way okay good morning mcc motos crew i am leaving albuquerque going 40 west to 45 north to jimenez pueblo jimenez pueblo it is so dry here um so i'm leaving albuquerque to go to jimenez pueblo that's my first stop and then um, on to a side trip that I think that the person I rented this bike from gave me. It is brisk this morning on the motorcycle. Oh, it's actually a lot colder than <laughs> I really wanted it to be. Um, I can tell you after driving this motorcycle many, many hours yesterday, this motorcycle can do it, but it is not a long distance tour by any means. <laughs> it really is just not. Um, it's definitely more, eh, the the seat is starts to get uncomfortable after about, for me, the seat starts to get comfortable about, you know, 45 minutes or so. And then, you know, I was on it, <laughs> but seven, eight hours yesterday, great. <laughs> oh, well. So, it, the good news is it is a long bench seat, so you can slide it up and back. Um, I was averaging about 36 miles per gallon, so it wasn't fantastic. He said you could get 70 miles a gallon if you keep it under 70. Um, the best I got when I was keeping it 70 and below was about 42 or so, 40 miles a gallon. So, there was that. So my plan today is to take it a little slower. Get, um, and just kind of enjoy the ride and see where we go from. Alright, we're getting out of Albuquerque. You can see the mountains to the left. It was at Sandia Peak beautiful there was a hot air balloon earlier too too far in the distance to see but yeah that's that's it so we're getting out um Jimenez Pueblo there's a side trip and then there's a hot spring it's called Jimenez Springs and I, I think I'm gonna do that I brought trunks um there's public springs and then there are like bath houses um I'm gonna try and do the public one I think it's chilly it might be a perfect way to get to get a soak on um, yeah, we'll see. Okay, Pueblo of Santa Ana, what do we got here? I don't know. Alright, closed. Alright, worth a try. Alright, so wow, just really pretty out. A little bit different um, landscape than going south. Uh, can't really describe it. More mountainous, maybe? I don't know. Maybe. Oh my gosh. Looks like a red spine in the mountains right there. That's so cool. 
but hopefully we get closer to that. That is amazing. Okay, I am going up to a waterfall. Um, it's about 28 miles, it says, or 28 minutes. Joaquin Canyon Waterfall. Supposedly there's a hole in a rock. Um, yeah, we'll see where it goes. I'm just taking it nice and easy just because... I'm cold, and <laughs> the faster I go... Man, it, the colder it is. It's not warm out. I'll say that. It looks warm, but it's not. It's, it is sunny. And these roads are... Seems good, but... They are narrow. And it is sandy. You can see it on the road, so you don't want to get into any of that. <laughs> wow. Does it just get any better or what? Man. Now this bike is made for roads like this. That is for sure. Meandering. Twisting. Roads. Just when you think it won't get any better looking. Look at that. What do we got here? Some pups? Hello, doggy. I gotta go here. Absolutely. I'm gonna go fly my drone. Yep. Let's see what I can do. Wow. Wow. All right, let's go see if we can get some drone action going. Okay, so we can get as much video as I can on this thing or on low. All right, so <laughs> look at these. Really cool. Woohoo! <laughs> I can't even begin to explain how awesome this is. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Hole in the rocks. There it is. <laughs> and of course, oh, there's a big rock that fell. That doesn't look good. Wow, scary. Whoo! Oh, look at that! Whoa! No parking. Pretty awesome. Okay, payment ends. Well, I get a little dirt. We'll see how this bike does on a little bit of gravel. Take your 
easy. I'm not on an adventure bike, I'm on a classically styled standard. So, seems to be doing just fine. really pretty out here. I'm guessing the waterfall is this way because I'm falling the river. And this bike does do really well because you can't stand up on the foot pegs if you need to. Rot in and rot. Who says this was an adventure bike, right? <laughs> it's not a long travel, I can tell you that. So you gotta go real slow on these bumps here. Or it thuds ya. It is fun though. I'm going real slow cause not my bike. Rocky! Alright, I'm gonna go. I'm leaving my bike and most of my stuff there, but I'm bringing my bag and the important stuff. Um, <laughs> it's up that way, the waterfall. Woo! Uh, I, I just don't think I want to take the bike up there. Um, it looks a little more ADV-y than uh, I think this guy is rated for. So I'm going to hump the rest of the way, walk the west, rest of the way there. Uh, let's go check it out. Yeah, could the bike make it? Yeah, it could for sure, right? But it's pretty steep, pretty rocky. And uh, yeah, I really don't want to cause any damage to the motorcycle. So I'm locking it. Six, seven thousand feet of altitude gets you. Woo! You can tell vehicles have been up here before. There are tracks, but no, this is definitely not a non ADV bike. Yeah, an ADV bike can take this no problem. What do you all think? Did I make the right choice of not taking the bike up here? Literally, I don't know how I'd get up through here without bending or breaking an oil pan. <laughs> Whew! Yeah, not great. <laughs> there is a waterfall, I think, and there is a gulch, so we're not going there. I think the waterfall's down there, so we'll take a look, see, see if we can get there. Maybe. Down that way. But yeah, you're not crossing here. Eroded. And no line there. No wonder why no one's come that way. Alright, let's see what we can do for waterfall. Um, yeah, and this video is sponsored by nobody, just me. Cost me a lot of money to do this. So if you can, please check out my Patreon channel. I'll put a link again, I think here or here. Um, please, uh, check that out i do a lot of cool promos and giveaways and a lot of good swag on my patreon channel so please check that out subscribe to that like and subscribe to the channel and let's get back to hiking wow guys it is really cool i don't know how we're gonna be able to get down there um let me zoom in doesn't do it justice 
I don't think I can get down there, but yeah, it's really cool. Cool little waterfall, man. Well, doesn't that suck? I lost the leg on my tripod. My $30 tripod. <sighs> Hopefully I can find it on the way back down. Just retracing my steps, so who knows where it is. But I am retracing steps. I backtracked the entire way. I didn't find it, so probably nil for action shots, darn it. What you gonna do? Maybe a few action shots. We'll see what I can do. Ha, ha, ha.